What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to be sharing five ways to approach a senior dev for help. So what I wanted to do is pretty much to share with you five ways to approach people that have that much experience and get you know your questions answered and learn and soak things up from them without becoming too much of a burden or seeming like somebody who just doesn't want to do their work or who doesn't have the you know drive to learn on their own so these are some things that i've just picked up guys in my six months you know some of the best ways i found to you know show them that you're trying to learn and that you know you really want to improve so one of the ways you can do this effectively before you go in and just ask away some questions to a senior developer is you know try looking for documentation and try troubleshooting on your own before you even go ask them anything so no matter how much you might not understand the error or no matter how confusing it might seem to be do the best you can to either google or use whatever like if you have confluence at your job or stack overflow or just the web in general exercise every single type of research and documentation that you guys can get your hands on on your own and then try all of those methods before you go to somebody that has you know that much more experience than you because they're going to be extremely busy and they've got bigger problems to worry about to be honest and they also are going to be mentoring a lot of other people so you want to respect their time so you know try you know just try your best to go through documentation and try to troubleshoot the problem you're having on your own and if it doesn't work then take screenshots of the actual error messages that you receive along the way so take a screenshot of the original error message and then try troubleshooting read documentation and just try whatever you can come across whatever you can think of try every single solution and every time it doesn't work and you get an error message if it's different then take a screenshot of it and say hey this is what happened when i tried this or this is what happened when i tried that and then that way when you do approach them they can clearly see that not only are you stuck but you're trying to learn on your own and you tried all these different alternatives and they know the reason why you tried them and then what it led to so they kind of know a little bit more about what your thought process was and how you think and how you learn and how you are under pressure as well and they'll be a lot more willing to help you is what i found if they see that you really spent that time trying to troubleshoot that on your own and uh they'll respect that so i think that's something that you should definitely consider before you just get to you know just asking away too many questions um all right so the second tip is to try to just ask someone who is at a more similar level uh as you are in the company or in your role before you go to somebody who has the role of a senior and the reason for that is because you know if you don't know something odds are someone else may have already encountered that who's been there a little bit longer than you or has more experience than you but even if you even if they haven't encountered that then it could be a great way for you to just build chemistry with that person as you guys work through a problem together and as you guys collaborate and get to know each other a little bit better looping somebody in to help you with a problem usually is a flattering way to you know kind of build rapport because they they know that you see them as somebody who knows more than you do and that you want to learn from them but in reality they might not know the answer to specifically what you're trying to do and you guys might end up working through it together so it, it builds a lot of uh great communication and a lot of rapport and, and really friendships in my opinion um what i've experienced it's built a lot of friendships for me so asking somebody with a more similar experience level to you first is a great way to kind of accomplish a lot of things you know at once not just you know sparing time and resources from your senior developer but it also could just you know help you make a new friend at work and and just build team chemistry that can you know have compounding effects on just the team and everything so it's a great way to just meet people and collaborate so the third tip I have is don't just pop up on the senior developer. Don't just show up over their desk while they've got their headphones in or something and just say, hey, I got a question. You know what I mean? You want to try to send them an email or if you guys have like a messaging service, whether it's Slack or GroupMe. I know my job, we use Microsoft Teams. So whatever type of messaging system or email communication system you guys have, you know, try to reach out to them first and just first see if they're free, if they have time to speak to you. If you don't know them, this might be a good time to introduce yourself so that you don't just seem like some random person from the company who just wants to use them for their knowledge. 
you know introduce yourself ask them if they're busy if they're free and you know if they mind answering a question for you and what i found is that again you know respect is important just in anything that you do so of course that's going to come into play so not just dumping your question off on them when they might not know you or you never talked to them before it might not be the best idea but you just want to again respect their time don't just pop up on them and make them feel pressured to help you because it's not their job to help you and it can make you look really bad as a junior especially so you know reach out to them make sure they're free make sure they're willing to help you which they likely will be especially if you're coming from a good place and you know you're not trying to just like i said use them to do your work or get you know get your work done faster um and everything will be cool that way because then you know they'll usually say yeah i'm free around this time or i'm, I'm busy right now but we can do this and that or I, you know send me a screenshot or something like that or you guys can set up a meeting or you can get some uh, other you know detailed one-on-one -on -one time with them and maybe get you know some more you know personal learning in so um that's number three and to be honest guys i kind of just realized that you know number three kind of sums up the last two that i had which are pretty much um, just detailing the troubleshooting issues or the things that you tried which I guess kind of goes back to the first thing that I said too and uh, the last thing like I said was just gonna be to schedule a meeting with them and actually aside from them just helping you with something but say hey can you you know can you spare 30 minutes during lunch or something to actually explain how this works to me or why I was wrong or why my approach wasn't working or how you would have you know done this or whatever um just again respect their time and just come off as someone who's eager to learn somebody who's passionate who wants to learn from their experience because you recognize and appreciate how much time they put into this getting this good at something which is incredibly hard and you know they're doing you a favor by helping you out so never take that for granted and never abuse it so again, guys, those are kind of just my, my little five tips. I know it's kind of more like three, but those are my five tips to just help you know how to approach somebody that has more experience than you or a senior developer at your job when you need help with something. So uh, if that was helpful, guys, you know, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated. Just keep making videos for you guys. And um, if you're a developer, which I know a lot of you guys probably are, check out my freebie section down below the description box where I give away free stuff for you guys. And yeah, I'll check you guys out in the next video. This is Darian with Darian the Dev, and uh, I'm out.